Welcome back to Men of Cycling. My name is CK, your host, and today we're going to talk about the Rafa Core Cargo Bib Shorts. Hopefully you caught my review on the classic bib shorts. This is going to be a review on the lower level, which is the core bib shorts. So uh, strap in and we're going to go for a little ride here. Alrighty then, uh, on to the review. So first and foremost, let's talk about the fit. The fit of the core line is a lot different. The materials that they use in the core line are not as good as what they use in the classic line. And to be completely honest, I'm more partial to the ones on the classic line. The core line is good, don't get me wrong. It's, you, it's, it's great, I believe, for people who are kind of just getting into cycling or people who are not sure that they want to really be deep into cycling, but they want to get a good pair of bib shorts. I think that the core line is great for that. But as far as you know, being someone who's more of a dedicated cyclist, if you have the money, I'd definitely upgrade to the classic versions. Now, talking about fit, one of the main things we as cyclists do is we move our legs. And to be able to do that, you need a certain kind of range of motion. And this is where I have the biggest issue with the core line, which is there's a certain kind of tightness I feel in the pelvic area when I'm wearing the core shorts that keeps me from really ex flexing and extending my legs. I don't, it, it almost impinges my hips to the point where I feel a weird kind of pressure on both of my hips when I'm riding. And, and I really don't like that. And so for me, I kind of, nowadays, I don't even wear the cores. I have tons of pairs of cores from when I really started cycling. And I thought they were the bee's knees, but nowadays mm, I kind of shy away from them. Nothing, nothing to knock it. It could be just the way I'm shaped. I have larger hips. So I'm wondering if people who have smaller hips and maybe you can write down in the comments if you don't have that problem. But yeah, definitely there's a range of motion issue for me, uh, a larger guy at 6'2", about 250 or 190 when I'm riding, you know, a lot. Just with the range of motion, right? The hips are real stiff and I don't feel like I'm enjoying my riding as much. Now, granted, after you ride for a couple hours, you'll you'll get used to it, right? But I, I don't want to get used to that. I want to have the free feeling I have when I'm wearing the classic bibs. Moving on to the straps, right? The straps for me are another point of contention. The straps always seem to kind of dig into my shoulders. I don't know if that's because of how the bib is sitting on my hips or what it is. But yeah, the straps tend to be more worrisome and more bothersome than I'd like. With that being said, I have tried crappier pairs of bibs and this bib is definitely way better than them, right? There's there's that point where there's the perpendicular seam to where the strap is going. And usually on, on shittier bibs, let's call them what they are, they dig into your shoulders. I don't have that problem with these. It's more so the entire strap is there. And like I said in the review for the classics, you don't feel like the straps are there. And for me, that's a really big thing. I don't wanna feel restricted. I don't wanna feel like I'm fighting anything when I'm riding the bike. And so for me, I definitely prefer the straps on the classics, the core. Now going to the special feature of this bibs, which is gonna be the cargo portion. Now for me, that is the one thing that is exactly the same that's on the classic version. And if you haven't watched the classic review, you can go watch the classic review for what I said on that. But I'll just reiterate what I said really quickly for you. The pockets make this bib incredible. I think anyone who's getting into cycling should opt for a cargo pair of bib shorts. It just makes your life a lot easier. You don't feel like you have to cram everything into your back pockets. Tremendous feature across the board. I will never knock a cargo bib. I think cargo bibs are the bee's knees. Now let's talk about cost. This is cheaper than the classics. Uh, these are about 150. So I do believe the classics are 270. So this is a hundred and twenty dollars cheaper, right? 270 minus one. Yep, $120 cheaper. Personally, I'm not really balling like that, but for me, there's no price that you can put on comfort, especially when it comes to riding. So I would save up and spend that money on the classic portion. But I will say that this is a good entry level price point for those who aren't sure how into cycling that they wanna get. Now I have a ton of bibs. I have probably about eight or nine pairs of bibs. So I've definitely spent my fair share of money on them. And I can tell you um, as someone who, you know, went through the phases of, you know, starting out, not knowing whether or not I wanted to do cycling, you know, very seriously to someone who does it, who did it seriously. And now I'm kind of on the tail end and trying to get back into it. I think a good way to go about it is get the core cargos, 
see how you like them. If you think you're gonna continue cycling, I would definitely splurge for your next pair to be the classic cargos. And then, you know, from then on, I don't really think you need another pair of bib shorts. I think that those two should hold you over just fine. I think you use the classics when you're going on a longer ride that you're serious about, you wanna maybe break a personal record, but then you use the cores when you're kind of putzing around every day and you're not as serious. But yeah, I think that's kind of the, the two ways to do about it. And speaking on how to use them, let's talk about use cases. Much like with the classic bibs, I used, when I was using the cores, I used the cores for everything. I think the cores are a great option for just riding around. They, they offer you tremendous utility and the ability for you to put things into pockets. And I love them. I loved them. Let's, let's backtrack there. I loved them. I got a new girl and she's hotter than my old girl. And I, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that I cheated. And, you know, sometimes you got to cheat. Another important thing. The Gooch, the Gucci Woochie, as I call it. The pads on the core are not as good as the pads on the classic, and it shows. I will tell you right now, I thought that going from a cheap pair of Amazon pads to the core pads, I was doing something. And I was, they were a lot better. But going from the pads on the cores to the pads on the classics, night and day difference. You know, your your gooch will thank you if you move up to the classics, especially if you're a heavier guy. I'm a heavy dude and being a little bit heavier, I need every advantage I can get for kind of relieving that pressure in the gooch area. So for me, that was a really big pickup, getting the classics. The classics did a really good job for me in that. And if you are a heavier rider, I would recommend the classics just because you're trying everything you can. Because for me, about mile 40, I'm starting to get numb taint, right? So you're trying everything you can to kind of alleviate that and alleviate the pressure on, on, on your gooch. So if you're a heavier guy, I'll definitely recommend the classics over the course. All right, so closing thoughts. I believe that the core line is great for people who are not sure how far they wanna go in cycling, but know that they do wanna cycle. I think it's a great option. I think it's miles ahead of anything you can get on Amazon and will take you far. It will be a good bib for you to kind of see how you wanna take this cycling thing. But I do think that if you do take cycling more seriously, you should probably upgrade to the classics eventually because the classics are just superior in every single way. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.